This week's episode of Pick Up Some Post is in loving memory of Marley, who belonged to Kermit's ghost, Alan. Marley was such a lovely dog and a great character, and it's so sad to hear of this tragic news. My love, thoughts, prayers goes out to Alan and his entire family during this difficult time. Alan will be off YouTube for a little while, but will return soon. I hope you enjoyed the video, and all my love to you, Alan. Hello everybody on YouTube Land, Jamie Power back for another episode of Pickups and Posts, episode 163. And uh, so let's get on with the pickups. That's right, Indiana Jones and Dial of Destiny, the fifth film in the franchise, meant to be the last one. I really enjoyed it for what it was, and uh, yeah, $14.99 in HMV with a slippy slip slip. One of my good friends on Facebook, he pointed this one out to me, or well, in a group, and that was my bloody banjo. This was $1.99 on Amazon on DVD. I don't think it's got a Blu-ray release, but I thought for $1.99, I'll give it a go. It looks like a lot of fun. And it says on here, it's a mixture of Drop Dead Fred mixed basket case. Sold. Had a lot of birthdays recently, so I'll do a few birthday shout out. First to Jim Jam's Movie NTV. Hope you had a great day. It was fairly recently. I want to shout out to Paul Robinson over at Magpie Movies. Absolute star. Hope you had a great one as well. Uh, over to Lisa Loves Movies. She had a birthday yesterday, uh, two days ago, so happy birthday, my dear. And yesterday, Saturday, it was a Vanda from Slayer Reviews. So lots of birthdays recently. Hope you all had a wonderful time and all my love to all of you. You guys freaking rock. I've got a box here. And what is this? Well, my two good friends, Big Paulie and Magpie Movies, have both decided to send me something. Now, I have no idea what it is, but um, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm going to close my eyes. I've got some bubble wrap here. Okay, it feels like a still book. I don't know if it's the right way up. Oh my fucking God! <laughs> you bastards! Fuck it, it's only the damn 4K still book of Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. I, I, I opted out of this because I thought, well, I've got the Blu-ray, so... You bastards. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. That is so kind. I'll make sure to leave links down below to their channels. Go and subscribe to them. Send my love. Guys, you... Oh, you pair of bastards, I tell you. Thank you so much. Oh, shit, man. Me and the wife yesterday went to go and see Wonka. Willy Wanker, Willy Wanker, he spunks all over you. Willy Wanker, Willy Wanker, he's a Wonka and it's true. Oh, piss off. Wonka, which tells a tale of a prequel to the original 1960 something Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory with Gene Wilder. This has nothing to do with that Johnny Depp version. Even though I can watch that, I it's just nothing compared to the Gene Wilder one. But this was a really lovely musical family film this is perfect for christmas it really is even though it's not christmasy as in like uh, the story or has it involved in it it feels christmasy but doesn't mean it's a christmas film <laughs> but yeah it's um it's really good the story is good the music's good the singing and dancing is really good i like the songs in this one timothy in the lead role he was he was pretty good the surrounding cast are amazing hugh grant as an oompa loompa is something that needs to be seen uh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's a very whimsical film. It feels a bit like Panton meets a bit of Matilda and uh, obviously Willy Wonka, but it, it was really good. I enjoyed it for what it was and it had a lot of wonderful cinematography and uh, it's just word. It was really funny. It was emotional. It was whimsical. It was a nice, feel good, put your feet up, cup of tea in the afternoon sort of film. Highly recommend it. Me and Katie really enjoyed it, so I would give that one 4.5 out of 5. What can I say? I didn't expect it to be that good. I really loved it. It's now time for some bonus footage. Right then, here we go. Bonus footage from the shop vlog. And I see a Grinch jumper here in Tesco. Very nice. And over here I found a twat in the hat. Yeah. And we also got a Cushy Christmas. Obviously only fools and horses. Old Dale Boy on the front there. Very nice. And Santa, I know him. That's Elf, very cool. Got this one for Carlinio 9. I think he's got this t-shirt. We've got a Coca-Cola t-shirt, very nice indeed. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. yeah. 
This time next Christmas, we'll be billionaires. That's right. And we've got Godzilla. Godzilla teddy bear here. Where is it? There he is. Look at the state of it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we've got in HMV, we've got The Exorcist on Steelbook for £24.99. Very good. Home Alone uh, soundtrack here on vinyl, £30. It's so expensive. And we've got Gladiator. This one is uh, £50. This one's Wish from the new Disney film, £35. My goodness. And in the cinema, we've got a Wonka cup. They didn't have the Wonka hat popcorn bucket, sadly, but it's quite a nice little cup, very different. And in H&V, we've got some Rebel Moon merch. That's right, it's all come into play now. Looking forward to this in a couple of weeks' time on Netflix. Looks pretty good. And we've got some mugs. Very nice. It looks like a Star Wars sort of rip-off thing, but I'm going to give it a go. It looks quite promising. And there's a T-shirt there. That's pretty cool. That one's pretty cool as well. And that one's all right as well, I guess. What else we got here? On Primark, we've got a Ninja Turtles throw. Very nice. And we've got a Ninja Turtles cup as well. Yes, very good indeed. And over here, we've got some Barbie stuff. This is Ken. That's right. I am Kenuff. Uh, yes, oh dear. And they've got that, oh my, just look at the state of it. And we've also got Ninja Turtle pyjamas. These are pretty cool. I don't usually wear long arms, but I think I can make an exception with these. And in Asda, we've got a stand and they've got some bits and pieces, but they do have a very large uh, entertainment section, you know, physical media, DVDs, Blu-rays. And here's Willy Wonka. This is the original one with Gene Wilder. Still the best, but I still think uh, the new one's pretty good. Well, you'll find out soon. Well, unless I've already done it by now. Who knows? Anyway, here's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I don't mind it. 1915 Legend of the Gurkhas. Uh, this is on DVD. Uh, this is £5. And we've got the complete Captain Scarlet. This is the voice of the Mr. Rons. Used to love this show when I was younger. We've got the Crow. I still can't believe that this has been re-released. I never thought I'd ever see the light of day. I don't think it was that great. Oh, look, it's Bone Alone. <laughs> One for old Loopy Loop. And, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's not awkward, is it? And one for my good old mate, Jim Jam. The Never Ending Stories, parts one and two. Fantastic. You can only get it on DVD in, the, in this country in this box set. Um, I remember the first one being amazing, and the second one, okay. So, <laughs> honestly, that Christmas present you got me was diabolical. I've had to send it back. Why would I want that? You ungrateful bastard. Anyway, I love it. Thank you so much for watching this video. The next shop vlog will be tomorrow on Monday. I've actually got it off tomorrow. So there'll be a shop vlog tomorrow. So fantastic. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you're all doing well. More videos coming soon. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe, play safe, and bye for now.